Hi friends, welcome to my channel Me Time with Nikki. So friends, can you guess that one question that children love asking over and over again? Yes, that universal question is why? Well, asking questions is a sign that children are curious, of course, and that they want to learn more and more about their environment. So today, I'm going to share three of my favorite books that will answer these little explorers' questions and help them become smarter by exploring and experimenting. So let's get started. So the first book that I'm going to share today is Little Kids First Big Book of Why. Well, the title is self-explanatory and this book answers many questions that children seek answers for and if you think that your child doesn't ask a lot of questions, then this is a good book to start uh, to plant the seed of curiosity in your child's mind. Okay, so let's see what do we have inside this book. So I think the contents of this book is very well laid out because um, it starts with amazing me, which is the child's own self. Then it moves to other things that appears in child's environment and ecosystem. So very micro to macro approach. So look at these uh, bite size information and I'm sure these colorful pictures bring life to the explanation and definitely to child's imagination. Here are these fun questions here that children would love to know. Yeah, cool. So I definitely like this book and I definitely recommend this book to start children's journey of science. Okay. So if you look at the back, there are other themes mentioned here that uh, this book is available for. So for animals, bugs, dinosaurs, space and ocean. So definitely a cool book to have. Okay, so the second book that I'm going to show you is How Things Work. So this is another super cool book uh, which tells us about little things that we don't pay attention to but they play an important role in our lives such as how does a toilet work okay so let's see what this book has for us how things work so this looks like a scene of an amusement park and what i absolutely love about this book are the little flaps under which the bite-sized information is hidden so you see here and here yeah so i am pretty sure that these flaps would make the book super interactive for kids and again this also has different themes like on the road so it talks about how things work on the road and then sea and sky here i love the different sizes of the flaps um, because they definitely add fun surprise element for the kids and something for the kids to um, keep their hands busy and then after that we have how does a house work so this is one of my favorite themes here because it talks about little things around the house um, which like I said sometimes we don't even pay attention to so for example this one how does bread become toast inside a toaster so this is something we might be doing almost every day but we might not even think about how does that happen so again very bite-sized information for kids here as well and the pictures definitely make it look um, really relatable Definitely a fun book. 
effort to keep little hands busy and little minds growing. Okay, what comes to your mind when I say scientist? Maybe an adult with a white lab coat and glasses and maybe a microscope? Well, guess what? Children do not need any of these accessories and neither do they need to wait until they grow up to become a scientist. They already have everything they need to become one. That is, their natural curiosity and their amazing senses. Yes, that's right. The best way to help children learn things is by making them do things so that they get to experiment themselves, make sense of their environment and construct knowledge for themselves. Therefore, this book, Look, I'm a Scientist, is a perfect book for giving hands-on experience for children and engaging them in fun science experiments. Okay, so let's check out what this book has for us. Okay, so a welcome note for the grown-ups and then a bunch of experiments for children here. And if you see, um, every experiment has a step-by-step -step instruction along with the pictures which makes it easier for the child to follow. Here we have ooey gooey slime. Then we also have a prompts for the adult to ask children just so the curiosity gets tickling and the learning gets going here. We uh, are talking about different concepts here, freezing, melting. Lots to keep the child busy. And if you look at these experiments, the ingredients are uh, very easy to find around the house. So you don't have to really buy anything from the store and you are good to go. So friends, I bought these books from Amazon and I'm going to mention the links for each of these books to buy both in India and in the US. And for folks in India, I want to remind you that Prime Day is coming soon. So make sure you check out these books at super discounted prices and surprise your kids. And for more such videos, please subscribe to my channel and share it with anybody whom you think is going to benefit from it. Alright friends, bye, see you later.